I know, here's a little warning, here's a little warning here, okay? When you first start doing this, you are gonna feel so weird. I'm 49 years old and I am so grateful that I often get told that I look at least 10 years younger. So these are some of my hottest tips so that you can look and feel your best too. Now I wanna just start this video by saying, you know, I am very proud of my age. One of the biggest tips that I can give you is to really embrace your age because really, what is the other option? you could die. So you're either living and beautifully aging and getting older and going through this journey called life or you're dead in a ditch, right? And I'm sure that you don't want that to be your life. So I think it's really important that we really embrace our age, that we as women are proud of our age, are proud of the stage of life that we are in. But of course, we wanna look and feel our best. So I am your girl and I've got some really great tips for you right now. The first thing that I stopped doing that really did make me look younger, and I didn't even realize this until I was scrolling through my phone looking at some old pictures, and that is, getting self tans all the time. Now, you see I am very pale. I also live in Miami, uh, an area where we always have, you know, skin showing. You're wearing tank tops all year long. It's eternal summer here. But what I realized that when I was getting spray tan specifically on my face, it actually made me look quite a lot older. I do love a good self tan and my favorite, favorite self tan, I will link it down below. Uh, it's actually cleaner ingredients and I really love it and it lasts a good like five days. I also feel like it's a little bit like excuse and mess up proof as long as you're using, you know, your mitt there to give yourself the tan and, and really rub it in well. I find that, you know, a person like me who's very like slap it on, like good enough, <laughs> I'm out the door. I find that it doesn't get streaky. It doesn't give me weird uh, distinct lines. So I do like to use that on my body, specifically on my abs and on my legs because my chest and my arms tend to get sun all the time. But on my face, I actually have stop using tanner because I feel like bronzer's enough. Um, so I will also link my favorite bronzers down below. Lately what I've been using is this Maybelline. Uh, it's actually concealer for people with much darker skin and I use some on my forehead and I dot some on my cheeks and then I use the brush to rub, rub it in and then just kind of like contour um, and that's it. And I find that it's enough and it really does give you a little bit of a fresher look, a more youthful look. So if you've been getting a lot of heavy spray tan, at least tell them please go much much lighter on your face because I promise you won't look like an Oompa Loompa and it will give you more of a youthful glow. The second thing that I stopped doing that I realized that really made me look younger is stopping over exercising. You know, when I was in my teens and my 20s, I thought that if I wasn't working out for a good 90 minutes, an hour and a half, really? Think about what you can get done in an hour and a half as a busy adult, right? But I really had this belief that a workout didn't count if it wasn't that long, you know? And then maybe some of you have this belief that, oh, if it's not an hour, it doesn't matter. But I, what I will tell you as a certified trainer who has been doing this for over 25 years, that less is more. And especially for those of us that are over 40, less is really more. Science and research has proven that the sweet spot for your workouts is, a drum roll please, just 30 minutes. Now you've got time to do 30 minutes a day, right? And look, even if you don't do every day, but you can find a four or five times a week to get in that 30 minutes of really focused workout time, I promise you, you're gonna see better results, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna have higher energy. And like I said, this is proven. So I do have a free cheat sheet for you. I will leave it linked down below and up here. If you want my free cheat sheet that really breaks down the five biggest mistakes that most women have been making when it comes to getting fit, especially those of us over 40, you'll wanna grab it right now. I made it for you and I promise you're gonna just really love it and see such great results and it's free. The third thing that I stopped doing, which I realized, wow, that really makes me look older when I do that. But when I don't do that, I look so much younger and that is I stopped getting eyelash extensions. Now, I know some of you might say, well, wait a minute, I look like a mole without lash extensions, or I love my lash extensions. I get it. And again, this is just what I have realized for myself and I wanna share. However, 
those big, thick, lamb chop looking lashes are not doing you any favors. And here's why. When you have those dark, dark lashes, what happens? You're not getting as much light on your face and especially not right here. So it actually gives you a shadow. And what I realized by, when going through old photos, I was like, that looks kind of weird. Like I just look bizarre. I look a little bit older and like I have more sunk in eyes. And at 49 years old, the last thing that I want to look like is that I have sunk in eyes. Now, I will tell you, those of you that are like, listen, I cannot live without my lash extensions. My friend Lynn, I'm talking to you. One of my good friends, she gets brown lash extensions. So not black, she's blonde like me. So she gets brown lash, lash extensions and gets them pretty short. So it just looks like someone that has really nice lashes. I never look at her and think like, wow, your lash extensions look good. Whereas those lamb chop ones or those really thick black ones, unless it really matches your hair color, it often just looks super fake and it's aging. So try it on for size. I know, here's a little warning, here's a little warning here okay when you first start doing this you are gonna feel so weird you're gonna feel so so weird because you're so used to that look of the lash extensions but I've also found that a mascara like a tubing mascara my favorite one I will leave linked down below that I get on Amazon it's a Japanese mascara and I love it because it's tubing so it gives me more length but why I really love it is it does not come off, whether I'm sweating, whether it's hot out, I live in Miami, it's always humid, I never get mascara smudges. So it's a really, really great trick. It gives you, not the look of extensions, but like, a, like your lashes, but a little bit better. And so you get more length, a little bit more thickness without that heaviness of a lash extension. Fourth thing I did to make myself look and feel younger and just so much better is, I stopped dieting and I also stopped intermittent fasting. <gasps> I can hear it now. I can feel you being like, wait a minute. My doctor told me to fast. You know, I have to reduce calories. I need to track my macros. Let's all take a deep breath together. Um. All right, very personal for people. And I know it can be very, very triggering. You know, let me remind you that I am also a certified health coach and I've been helping women lose weight for years. So I know a lot of the mindset hurdles that we need to go through. I was a chronic dieter myself for 18 years. You know, I was training to be a, a dancer and you know, I would wear a leotard and tights as an outfit every single day. So every part of my body was on display all the time. And it made me feel so self-conscious, especially when I got into my teen years. So the biggest improvement that I've ever made in my life was when I finally just decided I will never do another diet again. I will never go on another diet again. And I stopped counting calories and I finally started listening to my body and giving my body some grace and some peace and I promise you, just developing that sense of self-love and using my intuition and loving my body, that was what actually made me lose weight, keep it off, and I promise you, it's what makes me look a bit younger because I'm also not like uber, uber, uber thin, which thins out your face and kind of gives you like a saggy skin look, but most importantly, I'm happier, right? And when you're happier, you look younger because kids smile and laugh all day long, but we as adults are like mm, frowning and so serious about everything. So I really wanna encourage you to do that. Now, the fasting. Why did I stop fasting? Well, I realized I, I used to do intermittent fasting before I had my daughter. And again, I'm very in tune with my body. Again, take this for what it's worth. This is my experience, so don't come at me in the comments, all right? What I realized that uh, after having my daughter, I absolutely cannot do a long fast. I need to eat breakfast. Before I had my daughter, I could easily go until about 11 o'clock, no problem, with nothing but, you know, a little coffee. I was drinking decaf, so I wasn't killing my hormones. But once I had my daughter, I realized I just needed more fuel and I especially needed it in the morning, right? It takes a lot of energy to not only have a human, but also to raise a human and to have that energy and to give that life. So what I realized is that it just wasn't working for me any longer. But when I look back at some of my photos and some of my videos even, I realized that I look better because I'm a little bit more nourished. I'm eating a little bit more and even if it does mean I don't own a scale, so I have no idea. You know, if the number on the scale goes up a little bit, 
that's okay because I feel like my cheeks look better, my skin looks better, my clothes still fit, you know, and I'm just so much happier. And happiness truly is the fountain of youth. And the last thing that I stopped doing that I promised it makes me look younger is I do not talk crap about myself. Hear me out. When I was in my teens and my 20s, as I shared with you, I was a chronic dieter. I really, really hated my body. I hated how I looked. But once I really was committed to, you know what, how can I become a friend to myself? How can I start to love myself? How can I stop that negative voice, which I didn't even realize that I had until I was in my late 20s and I started opening my eyes to, maybe I can start thinking a different way and feeling a different way and being a different way. I didn't even realize how constant that voice in my head was telling me stuff like, you're fat, and maybe in your case it's, you're old, you're too old to do that, you know, who are you to think you can do that, that's not for you, blah, 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 right? So instead, I started adopting a sense of, you know, I love myself, or even if it was challenging for me to say, okay, it's possible for me to love myself, it's possible for me to love my body, and once that possibility started happening, and then, once it felt like, yes, absolutely, it is possible for me to love myself, and I had confidence in that, then I started saying, I love myself, I love my body, and now, especially as I get older, I just feel so happy that I love aging. I'm constantly looking for other women that are 10, 15, 20 years older because then I'm like, yes, she still looks great. This woman looks like she's happy in her life. This woman is inspiring to me. This woman is, is just magnetic, right? And looking for what I like to call those possibility portals, people that are really inspiring for you that look like, and of course, you know, look, we don't know what's always going on, but just knowing that there are other people that are more advanced than you, that are living life, you know, setting goals and reaching them, inspiring other people, making an impact on the world, that's gonna keep you young. Because a young mind is always active. It's always inspired. You know, I think about my four-year-old daughter and I love it. And I know it can be a, a lot, right? But I love it when my daughter asks me questions or doesn't understand a word. My daughter, I will say, you know, she's an only child, right? So, so she's around adults a lot. And I realize that she, her vocabulary is pretty advanced, I think, for a four-year-old. But I love it when I'll use a word, and I'll kind of intentionally use a word that I know she won't know. And she'll ask me, like, what's that mean? And I love explaining that to her. That's the mindset of youth, right? I love when I'm reading a book on my Kindle, not the sign of youth, that's the sign of someone in their 40s, but when I have to highlight a word, because I'm like, wait, what is the correct usage of this word? That makes me so happy. I study Italian, right? It's like using my brain in a different way. So ask questions, get a hobby, do things that are gonna keep your mind uh, elastic and growing and keep that neuroplasticity, right? So that your brain is working towards your advantage and keeping you more youthful. So that's what I have for you today. I hope this really inspired you and motivated you. You know, youth, in my opinion, is really a mindset. It's not about how we look, but it's about how we are being. And if you want to look and feel 10 years younger, I hope that this really gave you some fuel to keep going. Like I said, I've got my amazing free cheat sheet. It's linked up here and also down below in the description. Make sure to get it and I will see you next time. Bye.